welcome back to another Martin's Home and Garden Houseplant of the Week. This week we're talking about the super beautiful, kind of rare, um, Alocasia Hilo Beauty. Um, these guys are a hybrid plant, but no one's really sure of what two plants were crossed to create this hybrid. Um, and this plant does not flower, which makes it incredibly hard for scientists um, and cultivars to uh, Kind of find what genus the species actually belongs to so there's a lot of speculation of whether it's an, actually an alocasia or a caladium or some other plant but they've been called alocasia since around the 1980s um, so that's what we're going to refer to them as as well um, they are super they are a super popular indoor house plant right now for <laughs> obvious reasons um, they have super cool unique looking coloring on the leaves it's almost like a camo pattern very cool, very beautiful, um, and it makes a super eye-catching addition to any houseplant collection. Um, and if you are looking to add this plant to your collection, we are going to tell you how to care for it today. Um, so the first thing we'll talk about is lighting for these plants. They do need a bright um, lighting, so put them as close to a window as you can, but no direct sun for these guys. Because their leaves are so delicate and thin, they will burn super easily if they're left in any kind of direct sun. Um, so no low light for these guys either. They will not do well. Um, so just a bright indirect light is going to be perfect for these. Um, the next thing we'll talk about is watering for these plants. Um, water them whenever the top two inches of soil is completely dry. They like a moist soil but not soggy. So waiting for the top two inches of soil to dry will help you to prevent the soil from staying too soggy, which can cause root rot. Um, and since these guys grow out of like a rhizome tuber, kind of deal, um, those will rot pretty easily. So it can be more susceptible to root rot than some other house plants. Um, another thing about this plant is that they love high humidity. Um, so putting them next to a humidifier or spraying them with some water a couple times a week is gonna do wonders for this plant. Or you can even put it on top of a pebble tray and we'll link a video right up here above me about why house, oh, whoa, why humidity is important for your house plants and how you can increase humidity in your own home. Um, so go and check that video out up there. Um, so the most important thing for this plant is ensuring proper drainage. So make sure whatever pot you put this plant in has a drainage hole in the bottom, waiting for it to dry out. But another thing that can help you to increase your drainage is the soil mix that you use to repot this guy. Um, so you can use any kind of indoor soil mix. Um, you can add in some perlite. This is the Espoma organic perlite just to help increase a little bit more drainage for this plant. Um, they also like a really nutrient dense soil. Um, so peat moss, adding some peat moss in there will not only help increase drainage, but it'll also help increase the kind of richness and nutrient um, quality of your soil for this plant. Um, and then fertilizing this plant it's not super necessary to fertilize the alocasia hilo beauties, um, but if you're going to, do it in the spring and summer months while they're not dormant, because they can go dormant in the winter sometimes. Um, Osmocote, indoor and outdoor, is going to be a really good option. Um, it's a granular, slow-release fertilizer, so you can kind of set it and forget it. This one lasts up to six months, so you just come to the little scoop. You can measure out how much to put in your plant. Um, put it around the base of the plant in the soil, and then whenever you water it, it will release down into the roots. Um, so this is a really good option, and it's a slow release, means you're not going to burn it um, like you could possibly do with a one that you'd mix in with water. Um, so that's a really good option, and it's my favorite. Um, the last thing we'll talk about today is propagating these guys. These guys are not propagated like your typical pothos or anything like that. You can't propagate it via with leaf cuttings. Um, they actually produce little baby plants um, or other little rhizomes or tubers. They shoot out from the mother plant. They're really, really small most of the time when you find them, like teeny tiny. Um, but you can cut those off with, you can pick them off, use clean scissors or just pick them off with your hands um, and then repot them down in some soil and keep that soil moist until it starts growing new roots. And you have a whole new baby plant. Um, so that is all we're going to talk about today, guys. We will see you next week. Bye.